now we come to the properties of conditional probability okay properties of conditional probability okay the first in line is probability of sample space happening such that f has happened is equal to this is equal to that we'll write after we have found it out we write the basic theorem here probability e such that f is equal to probability of e intersection f divided by probability of of f okay so this becomes our founding principle okay this so i'll always refer to that so so let us find out what is p s such that f that will be p s intersection f upon p f what is s intersection f sample space intersection f my sample space if intersected with f so in our venn diagram this becomes our sample space this is f what is s intersection f what is the term that is common to both f okay so it is p f upon p f which is 1 p f such that f is again p f intersection f upon p f f intersection f will be what this intersected with itself f upon f is equal to 1 so here i should be writing 1 okay see even logically we we say some event some subset of s has already happened what is the probability that the full set happens obviously it is 1 or i say that f has happened what is the probability that f will happen again next it has already happened so one the full thing the next one is we try to find out p a union b such that f has happened probability of a union b such that f has already happened what will that be Huh? Huh? So again, we do the same thing. So it is probability of A union B intersection F upon probability of this. Now what? What will happen? You must have read one thing about intersection. the property of intersection that intersection distributes over union in the same way as multiplication distributes over addition okay what does that mean actually it means that a intersection b union c will give you a intersection b union a intersection c what is it trying to say in the same manner as 2 into 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 2 into 5 in the same manner intersection distributes over addition union okay so what will this give you what will this give you so do that so 
that gives you T A intersection F union union P B intersection F sorry 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 upon T F So, this ultimately becomes what union of two sets. Now, do you understand, do you remember what is the union of two sets? For example, if I call this C, if I call this whole set C A intersection F and this as D, then I am just asking you this, can you tell me what will be C union D? What is C union D? We had seen that the number of elements in this, this is this becomes what? This becomes C plus D minus C intersection D in 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 terms of the numbers of elements. Okay. In terms of the number of elements. Okay. So, maybe, maybe I should I should be dealing here in the numbers only, let, let the probability go for a moment. So, you just deal with numbers. Now, number of elements in C union D is number of elements in this plus number of elements in this minus number of elements in this intersection that. So, A intersection F intersection B intersection F upon on N F. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this? I know that intersection is commutative okay intersection is commutative so I, i'll solve it here otherwise i have to write the whole thing again and again it takes a lot of space so a intersection f intersection b intersection f so this can be written as a intersection f intersection f intersection b now intersection is also associative so, what happens? I am free to put to take whatever intersection I wish. So, A intersection F intersection F, this I will take first and then I will intersect it with that. And F intersection F will be F intersection F will be F. So, this A intersection F intersection B. I, I flipped it commutativity of commutativity of intersection I applied on this A intersection B is same as B intersection A. So, B intersection F is the same as F intersection B okay. and then I wrote this as again I flipped this. So, A intersection okay. which I wrote B intersection F and this I wrote as A intersection B intersection F. Okay. So, ultimately, so I write that here, I write this here, I wrote it in A intersection F plus N B intersection F minus N in A intersection B intersection F upon N F. So, I get what? N A intersection F upon N F plus N B intersection F upon 
on nf minus n a intersection b intersection f upon nf now what is this this is nothing but p a such that f is it not and this is p v such that f and this is a intersection b such that f okay so what do we get we get p a union b union b such that f is equal to that okay 